I'm sorry to say, children, I have shocking news. Tomorrow, the school inspector will carry out a thorough inspection of our school. I have to inform you, if he fails us, they will close the school down. Uh, don't cry, Dennis. I'm sure it won't come to that. Oh, these are tears of joy, Curly. Tears of pure joy. Don't you see what this means? School's out forever. Only if it fails the inspection. Oh, it's gonna fail, all right, Pie Face. <laughs> this calls for an extraordinary menace meeting. Usual time and place. So, I've been doing my homework. Ha, how often do we hear that? This man holds the key to our happiness. I give you the school inspector. Hello, my name is Derek Pencils, school inspector, but you can call me <laughs> the Closinator. I have closed 30 schools in four years, and that is a record. <laughs> 30 schools? Give that man a medal. Watch out, or I might close your school at all. <laughs> <laughs> I looked him up online. Derek Pencils is totally hardcore. He believes in punctual, polite pupils, clean classrooms, and outstanding academic achievement. Wow, everything Beano Town School doesn't have. <laughs> it's definitely gonna fail. Yeah, definitely. But let's give it an extra nudge anyway, just to make sure. What will happen to the school after they close it? I heard they're gonna turn it into a flopping great fun fair. <laughs> Yeah, in your dreams, Curly. Just think, this time tomorrow, school will be a bad memory. <sighs> Today is do or die day, Dennis, so I'm giving the school a lick of paint. Want to help in hand, sir? <laughs> and fall foul of your pranking ways? Not likely. But, sir, this is the school's hour of need. We're here to help. Yeah, make the day run smoothly. See, it all goes to plan, sir. Hmm. Maybe I've misjudged you, boys. All right, you're on Operation SOS. Save our school. You can lend a helping hand. Hooray! So this has been Old Town School. Ah, oh, oh, Mr. Pencils. <laughs> I smell closure. Oh, it's probably just the drains. <laughs> Can I interest you in a cup of tea? A, a small digestive on the side, perhaps? Why not? Closing schools is thirsty work. Brew up, headmaster. We'll suck to the demise of Beano Town School. Two teas, eh? Time for phase one, Curly. The mighty wind. Two teas coming up. Uh, to my office, then. Lead on, Macduff. Right. <laughs> Who's Macduff? This is going to be easy. Right, phase two. Enter the grasshopper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grasshopper's primed and ready to hop. <laughs> Water, milk, tea, fart powder. Yeah. Fart powder, fart powder, fart powder. <laughs> Closing skills makes me feel good. You know what I mean, Detester? Makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. And I don't mind telling you that this school has closure written all over it. Punctuality, cleanliness, orderly classrooms. That's what I look for. And most importantly, good manners. What have you got to say to that, detester? Oh, oh. Goodness gracious, man! I am most terribly sorry. Disgustingly flatulent headmaster. <laughs> oh, right. Suppose you better show me around this school. Aha! Phase three. School runs half an hour late. Now for phase four. A good dollop of slime. Today's lesson, the animal kingdom. Open your books, please. Yeah! Unless my ears deceive me, that sounds very much like... Anarchy, headmaster. We prefer to call it bringing the wild into the classroom. Say that again. This is not looking good, headmaster. And that school.
Oh, Belly's late. <laughs> Mr. Pencil? Mr. Pencil! I would like to address the entire school in the school hall. Now! A flatulent headmaster, mm -hmm. chaotic classrooms, and slovenly punctuality. What next, I wonder? I'll tell you what next. It's slime time! <laughs> this school has failed the inspection. After I've signed off the paperwork, Beano Town School will be closed forever. <laughs> Result! We did it! <laughs> Gentlemen, this has been the menace to end all menaces! <laughs> Treehouse in one hour. Time to start plotting the rest of our lives. We're sorry about the school, Dennis. Sorry? It's brilliant! <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you're right. It's, um, terrible. Too right it's terrible. You'll never guess what I've just heard. in the school free lane. <laughs> Pinch me. I must be dreaming. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. After Beano Town School closes, we're all going to be sent to Drano Town School. Uh, not Drano Town School. What have we done? We have to make the inspector change his mind. Hey, but who? It's impossible. Yes. Yes, this is. Yes, this. <laughs> Necessarily, Curly. We think we might have found a way to save the school, sir. <laughs> Nasha? He's a bona fide genius. He's a dog. He's indognito, disguised as. Two, two. Right, sign here and the real fun begins. Oh, Mr. School Inspector, what if we showed you that this school harboured a budding mastermind? Uh, naturally, if such talent came forward, I might reconsider. Introducing Beano Town's star pupil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Lead on, Macduff. Who's Macduff? I have no idea. <laughs> Excellent at archaeology. Which, as everyone knows, is the art of digging up bones. <laughs> Not bad, eh? A lucky fluke. We've also got the best football team in Beano Town. <laughs> 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 But I do like using my bulldozer. And anyway, these aren't core subjects. You're right. But our star pupil also happens to be a genius at maths. Oh, my favourite subject. Very well. If he can beat me at maths, I'll tear up the closure form myself. Bet you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? I'll use my calculator. And he'll use these. What, sausages? Is this a joke? Genius moves in mysterious ways. Question one. Two plus two. That's easy. It's four. <laughs> uh, next question. Einstein's theory of general relativity states E equals MC... <laughs> So fast. I came here to close a school. I don't like to go home without a bit of rubble on my fingertips. One final question. History. Who was the famous architect of the Regency period? John? That's what I thought. I'm going back to fire up my bulldozer and I'm taking these sausages with me. Nash! Huh? John Nash is the right answer. Three little words. I will be back. We did it! <laughs> Nasha did it! <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thanks to you, Beano Town School won't have to be turned into a whopping great fun fair. A whopping great fun fair? What have we done? <laughs> Oh, 
I reckon the world he's got his face on it. Shh, it's starting. Tomorrow, Beano Town elects its next mayor. To show why I deserve your vote, I've got you all a present. A new waxwork of the most handsome, hard-working and, above all, humble man in Beano Town. Me! <laughs> this represents my new approach to menacing. Vote for me and I'll make Beano Town a prank-free zone. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Now, Nasher! <laughs> sure that he loses the vote tomorrow. And I know how. Hmm. Lunchtime. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh? Right. Time to make that wax work work for us. Nasha, it's snack time. Yes. Hmm. Looks delicious. <laughs> oh, you can't move in this town for menaces. Hey, come back with my lunch. Sure you're up for this, Payface? Oh, yeah. I'm world champion at standing still and doing nothing. Oi! What are you doing? Mescrimp's orders to protect this priceless work of art from any more menacing pranks. Well, he needn't worry. Nothing gets past old Slipper. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Time to show the town my new approach to menacing. <laughs> Careful now, Mrs. McGinty. Let me help you across the road. Ah, 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 my toe! I don't believe it! Did you see who that was? I know. <laughs> Father Christmas at this time of year. What? Oh, no, it was Mayor Scrimp! <laughs> <laughs> Sheet, lads. Uh, pie face. Disguised as a ghost. <laughs> Very funny. You just keep away from this waxwork. I have to make sure this vote runs smoothly. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, pie face. You can stop doing the pause now. No, I can't. Oh, stiff. Sounds like scripts are gonna. Come on, we don't want to miss this. Right, all of you, take it easy. Back up, back up. What? What are you all on about? I haven't done anything. A likely story. We all saw you. We didn't think a new approach to menacing meant you would be doing the menacing. You're not fit to be mayor, so none of us will be voting for you. Yes. Now to get our skateboards back. Which leaves us one tiny question. Who is going to be the new mayor? Surely you're the obvious choice, Father. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly... N oh, very well. As you all insist, I accept. <laughs> all those in favour? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh... Vote carried. May I present to you the new mayor of Beano Town. <laughs> 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 
My first act as mayor is to end Scrimp's pan on skateboards. Oh, maybe he's not so bad after all. And replace it with a ban on skateboards, bicycles, catapults, water pistols, water bombs, hand buzzers, and anything else that may be used by a menace. I'm in heaven. Yeah, he's not so bad. He's worse! <laughs> Wakey, wakey, Assistant Junior Apprentice Parky Scrimp. Sorry, sir. <laughs> All our gear gone. Scrimp doesn't seem so bad now. Let's scrimp stick to picking litter. It takes a man like my dad to deal with rubbish like you. What? You're nothing without your pranking equipment. Oh, yeah? A real menace can make a prank out of anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Slow down, Dennis. That does it. Little pickers are banned. Uh, re really? Are you sure? Absolutely. Anything that can be used for anything gets banned. Uh, okay. You heard the man. Hand him over. Yeah, right. Anything, eh? <laughs> Plan D and G. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely mints for you, Mrs. McGinty. Now, where are my paper bags? Again with the Mrs. McGinty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened? Did my black pudding explode again? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Paper bags are now banned. <laughs> Come on, just find something else to use. Oh. Still a stinky smell. Don't worry, miss. We'll shift it. Ah! <laughs> what? Well, there's only one sensible response to that, and that's to ban hair dryers. Oh! Da 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 da! <laughs> My favourite colour. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pitch up. 1730 hours. Time for your daily watering. What the? Right. From now on, watering cans are banned, and so is paint. Mm. Hang on just a second. How's a chap to keep his garden spruce if he can't water it? Look, I realise these bans are causing a few problems. A few? With our paper bags, no one's buying any meat. Look at the state of my hair. I can't fix it without a hairdryer. Just give me a little more time. I I've almost beaten those menaces. Oh, yeah? Want to bet? Right, gang, this is the big one. Dirty socks? Check. Line of underpants? Check. Ultimate weapon? Let's see Walter's dad try and ban this one. Time for Operation Underpants. Charge! Stand firm. We can take anything they throw at us. Let me go. Except sticky socks. Socks are banned. Oh, everybody calm down. There's no need to... Uh, I can't see. Tactical withdrawal. Chaos. No, you're causing chaos. We were just standing here. Time for the pants de resistance. One of baby bees use nappies. <laughs> that does it. As of now, all forms of underwear are banned. What? Don't be ridiculous. We were better off with scrimp. Sergeant Slipper, do something. Yeah, I intend to. I suggest yesterday's vote be overruled and Scrimp gets his old job back. All in favour? <laughs> Sorry, sir, but nobody's confiscating my underpants. Oh. As your new mayor, I hereby ban all bans. <laughs> Skateboards. Hmm. Oh, all right. But don't think I'm going soft. Let me remind you the sort of man you're dealing with. Uh, uh, no, sir. Please, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like you. When there's menaces about, it loses its head. <laughs>
My homework. Homework. Bravo! Wonderful! Wonderful! Oh, don't clap. Dennis is clearly lying. Yes, but with such verve and imagination. Class, this is Mr. Blake Midwinter. He's an actor from the television. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes, little boy. You may have seen my acclaimed performance as a man in park in that crisps commercial. <clears throat> Nay, Squirrel, these are not for you to nibble on. End of scene. Mr. Midwinter is going to help us with this year's school play. That's right. Thank you, Mrs. C. I'll take it from here. We're doing Jack and the Beanstalk. And I do believe we've already found our Jack. <gasps> um. Surely the lead role should go to someone artistic? Exactly! And Dennis here clearly has a wild flair for dramatic improvisation. I have what now? He says you have wild hair for drastic improvement. Hey! I'm not brushing my hair for anyone! Sorry, Mr Midwinter, but I'm out. Oh, sadness. No! Your words strike like arrows at my heart. <sighs> Oh, well, the show must go on. Auditions are tomorrow lunchtime. But I must warn you, the rehearsals will be very demanding and mean missing a lot of lessons. Miss lessons? Wait, I'm in again! Huzzah! A star is born. Like you said, the show must go on. There are still plenty of parts to audition for, and Headmaster Detesta has very kindly insisted on helping me choose the rest of the cast. Next, we have Angel Face Detesta reading for the princess. Oh no, here comes the giant. Jack, look out. Bravo! <laughs> Beautiful, such poise, such grace. A perfect princess. I don't believe we need to see anyone else for the role. Thanks, Dad. Okay, everybody, let's rehearse. Curly and Pie Face are the giant. Angel Face is the princess. Walter is the bean seller. And Dennis is our fearless Jack. Please, no autographs. <laughs> Now, in this extremely moving scene, Jack is with one of the most important characters in the play. The bean seller! No, no. I mean Jack's cow. But who should play the cow? Who should play the cow? Come on, come on. You both look marvelous in that costume. This isn't even a cow. It's a horse. Yes, but the magic of theater will make the audience believe it's a cow. I'm not doing it. Oh, oh there's a funny smell in there. Ah, oh, yes, that may be me. It's uh, Cabbage Thursday in the canteen, you see. I've got a much better idea than that moldy old costume. Presenting Jack's cow. Yes. Oh. The dog can't play a cow. It's genius. Oh yes, it's even better than a horse. It's playful yet surprising. It's very, it's very now. I love it. Okay, let's get the bean seller scene out of the way, and then we can move on to the big romantic finale where Jack kisses. The princess. Right, I'll just... <laughs> Hang on. That sounded like you said something about kissing. Oh, dear, Dennis. Uh, haven't you read the script? Page 30, Jack gives the princess a big kiss. In front of the whole school. Kiss a girl? Yeah! Yeah! Angel face, you don't want to 
kiss me. I haven't had a bath in a week. Of course I don't want to kiss you. But the Beano Town Gazette are sending a photographer. And if kissing you gets my picture on the front page, then I'll do it. And scrub my mouth afterwards. <laughs> Everyone will see Dennis the Menace smooching the headmaster's daughter. <laughs> Um, Mr Midwinter, I'm having second thoughts about the play. And third thoughts, too. And they're both... Well, of course I can't force you to do the play, Dennis. Oh, I knew you'd understand. But if you do drop out, I'll make sure you get double all the lessons you've missed. So, what do we say? The show must go on. Dennis, what are you gonna do? If you oh, kiss a girl in front of everyone, you'll never live it down. I know, but Mr Midwinter won't let me give up the play. Oh. Ah, but it wouldn't be my fault if he kicked me out, would it? Morning, everyone. Places, please. From the top of Act Two, a Jack climbs the beanstalk and sees the giant. Look. The beans have grown into a huge beanstalk. I told you they were magic. Thank you, kind bean seller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't forget to feed my cow. He must be hungry. Three, five, four, four. I smell the blood of... <laughs> I'll defeat you, giant. <laughs> Stop! Sorry, Mr. Midwinter, but I totally understand if you don't want me in the play anymore, so I'll just get going. What are you talking about? That was brilliant! So raw, so spontaneous, so, so in the moment! You know, you remind me of a young me! <gasps> okay, now let's try the kissing scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course! Thanks, Nasha! Okay, hook her up, Angel Face! <laughs> oh, sorry! Uh, just coming down with a bit of a cold! <laughs> oh, keep your jabs to yourself! I need to look my best for the paparazzi. Oh, no. Well, we don't want anyone getting sick before opening night. Maybe we should skip the kissing scene for now. <laughs> Good old face snot. That should keep me kiss free till this is all over. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jack and the Beanstalk. Adapted, choreographed, designed, and directed by uh, your humble servant, Blake Midwinter. Yo, look. It's Man in Park from that crisp commercial. <laughs> Make sure you get a good shot of the most talented actress, my daughter. Jack, a humble farmer boy, taking my cow to market. Nash, move! I'll buy your cow for these magic beans. <laughs> I think I've had too many beans already. <laughs> <laughs> right, just the kissing scene to go. Time for the fake snot. <laughs> oh. um, we're looking for this. <laughs> now you'll have to kiss Angel Face. <laughs> oh, only one thing for it. You mean? Yes, Curly. Operation Blackout. <gasps> no, not Operation Blackout. <laughs> what is Operation Blackout? Well, Operation Blackout. <laughs> oh, hurry up, Dennis. Come on, Payface. <laughs> Time for our big scene and for me to get my picture in the paper. Mm -hmm. You defeated the giant and won the heart of a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Curly. Don't let me down. I escaped the kiss of shame. Angel Face got her picture in the paper. And we got out of lessons. That said, play was a big hit. <laughs> Just not the kind Mr. Midwinter wanted. Ah, hey. Oh, fool. Ah, this is ah, your ah, moment. I bet he wishes the show hadn't gone on after all. 
That's showbiz. No, that's medicine. <laughs> <laughs>